I have before me the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra versus the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i to help you make the right purchasing decision for your needs. Now we have the more professional Book Ultra versus the more gamer but better optimized Slim 7i. So first and foremost, let's get into the usability, functionality, and features of each laptop, and then we'll jump into the benchmarks. First and foremost, if you're looking for a more professional laptop, this is gonna be your choice. Now it does have a slimmer connectivity option. We have two USB type C's. One of those is gonna be occupied by your charger and an HDMI port on the left side panel. And on the right side panel, we have a headphone jack as well as USB type A and a micro SD card reader. For the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i, you have two USB type C's and a headphone jack. But those two USB type C's are gonna stay open because on the Slim 7i, we have a dedicated power adapter port three USB type A's, an HDMI, and then on the right side panel, we have an SD card reader. So for all my photographers and videographers using a camera with an SD card, the Slim 7i is going to keep you dongle free. Now let's do a quick open and close test of the lid to see which one opens and closes with one hand. Both do it very easily. You're gonna see we're gonna have a thinner screen on the Book 3 Ultra with less screen wobble. You can see there's barely any screen wobble there. And then you have the Legion, which has quite a bit of screen wobble. And they both have a little bit of screen wobble. As you can see there, the Ultra wobbles a tiny bit more. Now they both have the same hinge. It connects on each side of the screen here on the midst of the keyboard deck. But you can see that the hinge doesn't move here on the Slim 7i, it rotates off of the screen. Whereas for the Ultra, the whole part of the connected point hinges. All right, now moving on to the build quality and assembly. If you want more of a professional look, very similar to say a MacBook Pro, Dell XPS, uh, Razer Blade, that's going to be the Book 3 Ultra. You have the side panel actually coming up and under and then connecting to the bottom cover. So it connects here and it has a very, very smooth connecting point. There's not any catchy edge. It just looks really nice, very professional. I don't love these feet. These feet pop off kind of easy. So you gotta put them back on every now and then. Don't love that. But overall, it's a good design. Now looking at the Slim 7i, you can see that you have this bit of a lip from the side panel to the bottom cover. This is a purposeful design. I don't love it. Um, I don't love how they you know, specifically have it sticking out, but because it's very consistent, I cannot really hate on it, except for the fact that I don't like it. There's no catchy edges. It isn't a poorly designed uh, assembly process, but it just isn't my favorite. Now, as you can see on the bottom, we have a much larger vent for the Legion Slim 7, larger in size and the holes are larger. So you're gonna get more ventilation through the laptop. Save an extra 6% off your purchase by going to Lenovo.com right now and using the discount code BENGEXTRA6. That's a custom discount code only for my channel and it ends at the end of September. So you better make your purchase quick because that discount code does have a time restraint on it. They've set up that code for the channel only through the end of September. Ben G extra six to save you a little extra money on your purchase of either a Lenovo Legion or Lenovo lock laptop. Now going ahead and taking a look at the weight and thickness, you can see that they are almost the same weight with the Legion Slim 7 being a little bit thicker. If you want a thinner laptop, a little bit more on the go friendly, go for the Book 3 Ultra. If you want more of a gaming laptop, a little bit more function in regards to the ports, a little bit more ventilation, you should be looking at the Slim 7 so far before we get into the performance benchmarks. We will get into those in just a few minutes. Now, if you're curious about the exact price and availability of these two laptops, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. So grateful when y'all use those links. Now, opening up both laptops, you can see we have a webcam along the top bezel of the screen. And here's a quick sample so you can see what those look and sound like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now they both have pretty good speakers and so you can make a decision on which one you like better. Here's a quick audio sample of the speakers.
Now in regards to the keyboards, you have very similar layouts. You have numpad on the right side, full size shift keys. You have full arrow keys, except for the Legion has the larger arrow keys. You're gonna have a medium to long key press on the Legion Slim 7. We're gonna have a short key press on the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. So much more like an Ultra Book, thin and light laptop, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, Razor Blade, something like that. It's gonna have that really nice clicky feel. It's gonna have that long gamer keyboard feel. Now the trackpad on the other hand, it's a no brainer if you want a large trackpad to go with the Book 3 Ultra. It is a huge trackpad and it also, in my opinion, sounds and feels so much better. This is still a good trackpad on the Legion Slim 7i. Can't hate on it at all. But if we're comparing apples to apples, this one's better. Well, it's not really apples to apples because it's a gaming laptop versus like a thin and light professional laptop, but computer to computer. All right, if you want to hear a quick sample of the audio for the keyboards and trackpads, here it is. Now the screens are one area that really set these two laptops apart. We have a HD 2560 by 1600 display, IPS for this Slim 7i, and then we have a 3K AM OLED display for the Galaxy Book Ultra. Now the screen is gonna be brighter on the Lenovo Legion Slim 7, but we're gonna have more color accuracy and color gamut range on the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. So really it matters which you prefer. Do you want a little bit brighter screen, maybe a little bit more affordable laptop, or do you care about that crisp color accuracy? Because you're gonna have a little bit better color gamut range on the Book 3 Ultra. You saw the results up on the screen and the choice is yours. Now in regards to the specs, both laptops come with the i9-13900H and RTX 4070. The Galaxy Book Ultra comes with 32 gigs of RAM soldered to the motherboard. The Lenovo Legion Slim 7 comes with 16 gigs of RAM slaughter to the motherboard, but then you have an open RAM slot to add a 16, 32, or even 64 if you so choose. So there's more upgrade path on the Slim 7. You can also upgrade the M.2 slot that's occupied or the unoccupied M.2 slot. So you have two M.2 slots in the Slim 7, or you only have one, which comes occupied with one terabyte, in the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. So the upgrade path is gonna be much better on the Slim 7i. Now, let's get into performance. And once again, if you wanna know the pricing as you're looking at the performance, I'll put links in the description below so you can compare the live pricing. Checking out Geekbench single core and multi-core, you can see that the Slim 7i is leading the pack in both regards. Moving on to Cinebench R23, same thing. The Slim 7i is gonna be optimizing that processor a bit more than the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. Now, once we get into the real world benchmarks, it looks as if the Galaxy Book Ultra is winning, scoring a 1,146 in Photoshop versus the Slim 7i 983. But don't forget, 16 gigs of RAM versus 32 gigs of RAM, and Photoshop loves RAM. When you upgrade the Slim 7i to 32 gigs of RAM, you're getting around the 1200s in Photoshop. So not a problem on par, neck and neck. Now moving on to After Effects, we see the same thing. We see an 879 for the Slim 7i versus the Samsung Galaxy Book at a 931. But don't forget, After Effects also likes RAM quite a lot. Not as much as Photoshop, but it does like RAM. And so you're gonna see a high 900s for the Slim 7i when you upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM. Moving on to Blender, even with less RAM, we're automatically seeing the Slim 7i optimize that RTX 4070 a little bit better at a 1026 versus the Book 3 Ultra's 853. So if you're looking for a Blender laptop, you wanna be choosing the Slim 7i. For Autodesk 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo, as well as SolidWorks, you should be choosing the Slim 7i. 
like I said, with the slimmer laptop and less ventilation, you're not getting as much out of that RTX 4070 when it comes to the Book 3 Ultra versus the Slim 7i. The Slim 7i is the way to go. And even inside of SolidWorks, we're still seeing a 121, which is a great score. Um, you can see that the RX 6700S from last year inside of the ASUS Republic of Gamers FRS G14 scored a 663. That is a Radeon processor. SolidWorks traditionally loves Radeon processors and workstation GPUs for NVIDIA. So that'd be like an A2000, A3000, A5000. Those GPUs get much better results. So that this GeForce is doing pretty well is impressive. Now, the next thing on the lineup is going to be drop frames out of Premiere Pro for both 6K B-RAW and 6K RED footage. The Galaxy Book Ultra did really well on the test. We saw an 84 for 6K B-RAW versus a 2,843. Now, looking at the Legion Slim 7i, for some reason, I just could not get it below that 1,000. The Lenovo Legion Slim 7i with 16 gigs of RAM was not able to break the thousand dropped frames mark. Add an extra 16 gigs of RAM and you'll easily see that score drop down to the hundreds. So keep in mind, Slim 7i out of the factory is not gonna be as good as the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra out of the factory. Looking at red footage, we scored a 368. So decent score for red footage for the Slim 7i. Now looking at export times for both of these laptops, you're neck and neck for 4K, nine minute 4K clip out of Premiere Pro. So overall, if you're gonna be using a laptop for 6K video editing, I would lean you towards the Slim 7i. Now, if you're gonna be using this laptop for DaVinci Resolve, Slim 7i would still be my pick. Six minutes and 17 seconds from the Galaxy Book Ultra versus the Slim 7i at four minutes and 21 seconds. If you're looking for a professional thin and light laptop that also packs a big punch, then you're gonna to wanna to consider the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, especially if you like a low profile, short key travel with a very nice trackpad and a 3K OLED display. However, if you're looking for a laptop that has a little bit better price tag on it, still has a great keyboard and solid trackpad with the good brightness and color accuracy and amazing performance out of an i9 processor with an RTX 4070, then you're gonna wanna check out the Lenovo Legion Slim 7. Click or tap the screen here for more videos about each laptop to help you with your purchasing decision. But if you're ready to make a purchase, definitely use those links in the description as it does support the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.